So I think Frank realizes somebody's in heat. He thinks he, he thinks he's the man. <gasps> Eva said, um, Frankie, come here, booby boy. Frank. Now Frank is retired. He doesn't realize that though. Eva does though. She said, you're not my man. So um, Frank, even though he's retired, he does, <laughs> he does play a part here. He lets us know what girl's coming into heat. <laughs> He's very good at that. Huh, Frankie, my big boy. My big love. Yes. Yeah. So Frankie's six. Huh. Yep. Come on, buddy. So Eva has a date today with her love, Hurley, for a breeding. Um, she's been playing with Diesel frolicking. She likes to frolic. But um, we do have a planned breeding with Hurley today. So we'll be going over his house and she'll be paying him a visit. Uh, she doesn't mind playing with the boys that are here, but... Um, and Frankie doesn't mind either. Yeah. If you can hear all that huffing and puffing, that's him. Because he's out of shape. <laughs> but he tries to get her. She gets pissy at him but he does try for big guy. Frank is only ever, um, Frankie, he's only ever studded two litters, so he's just a big guy. But um, this is Farley's dad, Frankie. <clears throat> Come on, Frank. Good boy. He's a big guy. That's why Farley's big. But Eva's fun. She likes to play with him, and he doesn't mind. She doesn't mind the attention, and he thinks he's the gonna be her baby daddy <laughs> he's so sweet so today we're over at Hurley's house for Eva Eva and Hurley just bred so we're out in the backyard and they've always got along really well she really loves uh, Hurley so this was um, their repeat breeding they've bred before um, we always have cool colors, so I've only ever bred Eva actually with Hurley. So let's take a look. There's Hurley. Hey, Hurl. So he's a sweet boy. Hi, handsome. He's so love. He said you love. He loves Eva too. Eva. Hi, Eva. And when you come around, you see Hurley is a true toy lover. His toys are everywhere in this ba his backyard. He's so sweet. So we will have one more breeding with her and Hurley and then we will wait the 30 days and see if they take. They normally do. So I'm sure they will this time too. I believe I will be keeping a puppy from this litter because he was getting near the end of her breeding. So we just love her disposition and her and Hurley's puppies. So Probably uh, we'll keep one of them. Oh, he's gonna check it out. So that's where we are today, getting this done. She loves visiting with him, though. Anyway, eat them, though. You can pet them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said, "Oh my goodness." Oh. Mm -hmm. That's her thing recently. She likes petting all of the animals. Oh yeah, but her puppies, the cats too. Here's the rest of the gang. Hi, babies. Oh, cheese. I know, I see you, lady. Peyton. Bowie, Glenn. Hi, kiddos. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Hi, Roxy. Look at Harold. There's Callie. She's saying, what are we doing to the kids? Hi, little babies. Almost seven weeks old this Wednesday. Aren't they freaking cute? You guys are the cutest babies I ever did see today. Yes, I did. Hi, Bully, you little shy boy. It's okay to be shy. Because the rest of you guys aren't. <laughs> As they're tearing up my fingers. Look at them. They're getting big. Yeah. Look at that. Really? Face. Those little blues, gosh. They are Samson beautiful. Has a they all have those pretty eyes.
Happy Sunday, everybody. A little update on our two little puppies that are here. As you can see, I have one in my lap. So these little boys will be seven weeks old tomorrow. So they're getting ready to go to their own homes, their new homes in about another week. And they're Hi. adventurous, they're playing, they're so ready to go for a new adventure. But we have to wait till they're eight weeks old. They do spend time with mom and uh, learn from each other. Uh, they are pretty playful even though there's just two of them. I can hear them horsing around. They bite, they bite on each other just like a normal litter. Like, um, this is Emmett. He's chewing on my sleeve right now. I hope you get a couple of kisses in. So, almost six weeks, uh, almost seven weeks old. Uh, Emmett and George. I went over and saw Callie's puppies yesterday. They're doing very good too, getting big. Um, <clears throat> they are um, weighing less because their parents are smaller and uh, there's more in the litter. So just by having two, these guys, I knew would be super size anyway, just cause the parents are big. And um, there's only the two of them. And he's our biggest. And then there's little George. George isn't really that little either. I'll have to get a new weight. Last time I weighed him, George was 20 pounds, but that was also a few days ago. So I'm sure uh, this little guy's gained weight since then. Same with George. He's been gaining pretty steadily too. Um, so they'll be going home in about a week. Uh, next week they have their vet appointment to get checked out by our vet, get their shots, get their health certificates. <coughs> and they like to come out when I'm not in here, I keep them in their whelping box, but when I'm in here, I let them free range and it just kind of gives them a new little adventure, you know, to sightsee. They like to play with this little leash um, that we don't really see, George. Uh, Emmons already took it and hiding it behind the chair. George found himself a pillow. And they are a little inquisitive. I do have this toy for them. I really don't normally give them these toys. I don't, I probably came in a pack just because the strings, if they eat them, they get in their intestines. So I normally don't give them toys like that. That's why it's out here. You can see they have like soft toys and rubber toys to play with when they're in their, their bed. It's funny though, because when I was in there cleaning out their shavings this morning and they were out here, they were having a fit because they wanted to be in there with me. So they're just like social little bugs. And mom does still come up and spend time with them. Um, but she's... Um, she's regurgitating her food. I think she realizes her boys are, are too big for milk and uh, she's just trying to give them food any way she knows how. So every time she comes in, she's regurgitating her food for them. <laughs> it's always fun to clean up. Emmett has found himself a kibble underneath the dog. Oh, I think that's what he's eating. Let me double check. What do you got there, little man? Just to be sure you're not putting... Oh, no, he found a piece of wood and that comes in with the wood shaving sometimes a little piece of bark so I don't want him to have that he said well, where did it go <laughs> he's licking the floor probably food mom missed <laughs> so I'll reweigh him today and get another weight just to I like to keep track Thank you, kisses for the George. Thanks for the kisses, George. Oh. Yes, he says you're welcome. So yesterday we ended up having our breeding with Eva and Hurley, and that was a success. So we have them posted on our page. Um, that's what we've been working on. Over the last week, we had the other girls breeding and both were bred. Um, we do have magnolias list and it's pretty full with deposits already. So we're not taking any more for magnolia. And I'm kind of waiting for um, Nala to see if, um, if she took or not. So I won't be taking any um, deposits for her until I confirm like at 30 days if she's indeed pregnant or um, what's going on with her. She had like a wonky um, 
first pregnancy and had a singleton and he just didn't survive and um, so we're gonna be sure that everything's well before we do any further for there um, but we do have Eva and Hurley that have been bred and um, they normally take so um, that's the litter that we are going to be keeping our our keeper from we think but we do have three litters possibly possibly so I may um, see one in one of the other litters that I might want to keep but ideally we are going for Hurley and Eva's litter I'm not sure what Magnolia and Farley will kick off or if we'll have success with Diesel and Nala we shall see uh, the puppies can hear me so they're whining they want to come back out and play <laughs> They're so cute. Um, I'm surprised they haven't figured out how to get over their their little uh, walkway, but they they haven't yet. So, and they do go home. Uh, not this coming week, the following week. So, they are ready for their new families to tear it up. They've been good puppies though, and Ellie loves them. But that's what we have going on. So we won't know till like 30 days if who took and who who didn't. I mean, we anticipate. You know, not everything is this, you know, goes as planned as we have learned in the past. So we're just going to wait and see who's pregnant. If we have more girls pregnant, we will take deposits. We have people that contact us every day. We have some outside breedings coming up for some of our boys. So we will be busy with that. Callie's puppies are coming along nicely and getting ready to, you know, head home to uh, same week as our little boys do. So that's busy. Still waiting for the spring. Um, can't wait. I'm so I'm so sick of winter. We're due for another snowstorm today, so we got to get out in that yard and try to clean up from the last snow that we had, which was like an inch or so. So we're anticipating um, four inches today. So we shall see. 